All right, so I wanted to uh, kind of review Spider-Man No Way Home, uh, non-spoilers, um, and as much as I can fit in three minutes. Um, I saw it opening night, so I went Thursday night, and um, I plan on going to see it again uh, here in the next couple days. But I've had you know a little over a day to kind of process things and process what I saw, and you know Spider-Man's probably my top two favorite comic book character of all time behind Wolverine. Wolverine is by far my favorite, but Spider-Man's close up there. And I've always liked all the Spider-Man movies, you know, um, all the Tobey Maguire movies are great. The Andrew Garfield movies, even though they're not, you know, they're not, you know, great, great. I still like them. And I've loved all the Tom Holland, um, Spider-Man movies. And for me, Tom Holland's my favorite Peter Parker and Spider-Man. Um, But this movie, Spider-Man No Way Home, the hype was real and the hype was huge and there were such high expectations similar to Avengers Endgame and they exceeded those expectations. This movie was so damn good. I laughed. I almost cried twice. I was cheering. I was in shock. I was excited. I was upset. Like, there was a range of emotions that I was feeling in this movie. And Marvel and Sony just did a really, really good job with this movie. And it probably goes into my probably top five of MCU movies, um, for me, at least. And, you know, if I get some pushback on that, I you know, fight me in the comments. Um, but... Tom Holland, cheers to him because the range of emotion he showed in this movie as an actor was absolutely incredible. And Willem Dafoe and Alfred Molina coming back to play their characters, coming back to play Green Goblin and Doc Ock, um, and those aren't spoilers because they've been in the trailers. Um, Seeing Willem Dafoe and Alfred Molina come back to play those characters, you know, 15, 18 years later, they were phenomenal. They did such a good job, both of them. Um, and just the movie as a whole, and it's not its not a perfect movie by any means. There were some issues. But just overall, it was just a really, really good movie. And the fight scenes were awesome. It, you know, the there was humor in it. It was just overall, it was great. And the last fight scene at the end of the movie, not going to say between who, but the last fight scene was... Phenomenal. 